A rough morning drive. A rough for a couple weeks. A rough morning drive just as the temperatures are heating up. And even yeah, tonight yeah. at this late hour, we've got pretty mild is, weather out it there. It is a warm one. It reminds you kind of midsummer. And we had those pop up showers and thunderstorms over the area again this afternoon, lasting into part of the evening. Take a look at the time lapse here. If you look at the left side of your screen, you can kind of barely see downtown. And notice as we started to lose that sunshine right around sunset, you start to see the clouds just kind of dissolve and all the thunderstorms begin to go away. Today, our last day of May, actually topping out at 88, our warmest day of 2023 so far. And take a look at this uh, view from Scottsburg, Indiana. Uh, this cloud base right here uh, turns into a cumulonimbus cloud, dumps out all of its rain within just a few minutes, and then watch this as the sun sets. That uh, thunderstorm just disappears as well. You see a lot of the clouds fizzling out and just a few leftover showers well off into the distance. And even those showers and thunderstorms have also faded away. So that was the view of those last remaining little showers right there. And uh, those are all gone too. So it's going to be a quiet night tonight. Uh, temperatures right now still well into the 70s. will only fall to the mid and upper 60s. So a warm start uh, to our Thursday, June 1st for tomorrow. It will top out in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And typically we hit 90 on June 1st and we'll get pretty close to that tomorrow. Notice a mostly dry map too here at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, just about a 20% chance of a very isolated pop up shower or thunderstorm and certainly no severe weather. Some drier air begins to move in, however, still hot. In fact, hotter temperatures on the thermometer on the way this weekend. The saving grace, so to speak, will be the fact that the air is going to be very dry. So this is going to be a dry heat, not like your midsummer, real, real muggy stuff. So upper 80s, lower 90s here for Friday afternoon, and that heat will continue through our WHAS Crusade for Children weekend. 92 Friday, 93 on Saturday, and still near 90 on Sunday. Thankfully, the this stretch of hot weather won't last too long as we'll drop back down to the lower 80s as the humidity will stay nice and low into next week as well. As you can see here on our humidity tracker forecast, still a bit humid tomorrow, but then really dry air begins to work in as we look at that extended outlook. Our, on the Almanac today, the number is 88 degrees. Again, the warmest so far this year, six above average and just six off the record of 94 set a long time ago, back in 1895. We're still at 75 and 79 at the airports, a little bit of a heat index and it feel, still feels like 81 in the metro. You get outside of the urban heat island, it feels a bit cooler down to 68 degrees in Paoli right now and 66 in Hodgenville and Elizabethtown checking in at 65 degrees. So it'll be mild tonight and a bit humid out there. Again, a summer like night with our low temperatures in the 60s and a rapid warm up will be well into the 80s by lunchtime tomorrow and our high temperatures throughout the region around 85 to 90 degrees. Get ready for the heat on the way. Uh, plenty of sunscreen. Stay hydrated. 92 <laughs> Friday, 93 on Saturday and upper 80s on Sunday. Little relief though as we go into next week.